Do you ever wonder how any drug shows its therapeutic action at a cellular level? The simple answer to this is it does so by binding to its particular drug receptor. Let us look at the whole picture of this drug action. We have a receptor. It is a specific protein molecule that is usually located in the cell membrane. Although some intracellular receptors and intranuclear receptors also exist. But over here, we are looking only at the cell surface receptors. It has an extracellular part, a transmembrane part, and an intracellular part. On the extracellular part, these receptors possess a special site that binds to a special molecule called the ligand. This could be any molecule from inorganic minerals to organism-created proteins, hormones, and neurotransmitters. In this case, it would be a drug. This receptor ligand complex encompasses the signal perception by the cell. The complex formed after binding will result in conformational change in the receptor. This will induce a chain of events known as the intracellular signal transduction pathway, which will elicit a cellular response. The binding can be specific and reversible. These receptors are extremely specific and are present only at target cells in the body. In pharmacology, it is important to note that the ligands could be of two types, either an agonist or an antagonist. A ligand that binds and activates a receptor is an agonist. However, the antagonist is preventing the agonist to bind, but itself, it doesn't produce a cellular response. The relationship between ligand and binding partner is a function of charge, hydrophobicity, which is referring to the water repelling nature of the molecules and molecular structure. Focusing in on the receptors of these ligands, there are multiple different types of receptors in the body, depending on their function and structure. These could be dimers, multimers, or transmembrane looping through the membrane multiple times. According to these factors, we usually divide them into four main types. Ligand-gated ion channels, G-protein coupled receptors, enzyme-linked receptors, and intracellular receptors, which could be cytoplasmic or nuclear receptors. Okay, wow, this sounds quite difficult but don't worry i'll simplify each of these for you as we look at how they interact with the ligand and the function